Revealed, Warriors threatened to block Teen Sensation from All Black's Seven's debut in Sydney. Revealed, Warriors threatened to block Teen Sensation from All Black's Seven's debut in Sydney. A tug of war between rugby and rugby league for highly promising dual code star Eaton Nanisichu could see his involvement in the All Blacks Sevens team this weekend hit with an injunction. A fight between the Warriors and NZR over the playing services of the talented teenager has gone on for months and its outcome could have huge ramifications for future cross code switches. Nan Isichro is contracted to the Warriors but has been named in the All Blacks Sevens team for the Sydney round this weekend. It is understood he has committed himself to the Chiefs Super Rugby franchise as well. The 18-year-old dual code star signed a five-year deal with the Warriors at the age of 15 and that deal doesn't expire until the end of 2019. During his time with the NRL club he received all the benefits of a contracted player with the club investing time and money into his development. But midway through last year the street Ken Tijern's college product sent the Warriors a resignation letter not a request for release from his contract an important difference. The Warriors were prepared to offer him an upgraded $200,000 a year deal to be part of their first great side in 2018 but the situation remained unresolved until coming to a head this week. By naming him in the All Blacks Sevens team it appears that NCR doesn't think his contract with the Warriors holds any value. Contracts signed by a minor, under 18, are not deemed binding in New Zealand. However Nan Isichro is understood to have signed his agreement in conjunction with his parents and an agent so age should be irrelevant. What is more relevant is that Nan Isichro appears to have resigned from one code to take up another. Usually to get out of a fixed term contract both parties must mutually agree to resolve the deal. The Herald spoke to a couple of different player agents, who didn't want to be named that admitted there is potential for the resignation concept to stand up in court. If that were to happen it could see any sports person cross codes immediately upon sending a letter of resignation. The Warriors are understood to be angry at Nan Isichro and at NZR for working behind the scenes to get out of their arrangement and are likely to take legal action. They would consider a formal release for Nan Isichro but are seeking compensation for their investment in him. The Warriors could demand an injunction be slapped on Nan Isichro to prevent him playing sevens this weekend. When contacted by the Herald, Warriors Chief Executive Cameron George refused to comment on the situation, claiming it was an employment matter, while NCR also refused to make public comment. Stan Martin, the agent that signed Nan Isichiro's contract, told the Daily Telegraph that rugby has done the dirty on the Warriors. Unfortunately rugby in New Zealand is very powerful, they've disregarded any league contract Eaton has, Martin said. Eaton looks and appears to want to play rugby and has gone down that path. Rugby is still yet to talk to the Warriors and myself, so it's a wait and see. Unless we spend money, there's no way we can really pursue the issue. It is understood Nan Isichro has walked out on a separate agreement with Martin and is now using well-known rugby agent Simon Porter to act on his behalf. Porter refused to comment when contacted by the Herald.